map number two in this final in this fantastic matchup between Boston top left and Florida top right is gonna be Li Zhang Tower. With me again is Julik Julik, sir. I, I I love that last map. Uh, I'd like to see what we can get out of Boston for this one. Yes, I am very hyped about this map, especially from the DPS side. Maybe we'll see some maze and maybe a Bastion thrown into the mix. I wouldn't be surprised if we even see a Torb coming into play here. I like Torb. He's he's a lot of fun. Uh, I like the instant the tr instant level two turret. That's it builds, but it's, it kind of works. Let's see what they're going to be messing with right now. Yeti, of course, probably not going to be sticking on the Symmetra, but first map of this three-round capture point is going to be Control Center. I love seeing hamsters on this map because you hook in the middle and you play Ring Around the Rosie. You just knock people away. But right now, Boston is looking like we're going to have Shiny Espion on Moira. Chilatron going to be backing it up on this GOATS comp they have as Brigitte. Lord Chronic going to be on Lucio. The tank's going to be Yeti. Reinhardt. Soups is going to be off the DPS and going on to Azaria. And Sky sticking to the D.Va. What do we got for Florida? Florida, right? Epiel 9 on the Reinhardt. Boss face on the Junkrat. XHY on Azaria. Gregory on the Anna. Daku on the Lucio. And Vax 503 on the McCurd. Yeti really, really deep. Going to get Gregory. And again, is, is going to get the pin on the way out. Is it going to be shielded right away? Epi all going to get hit, finished off by the fire strike. Sky finishing off Vax right now. It looks like Boston is dominating this first encounter as Krana does boop boss face in the face with his right click. Didn't boop off the map, but definitely did some good job. What? I thought I saw boss face not sticking with his team and flanking, and then it looked like, was it Octillotron uh, contending him? I believe it was. Making sure that junk, because a junk rat on a flank on this push would have been devastating, and I did think that that if he was able to connect with that charge coming out, gets Epiol is shielded, and yet he does have his ult already. Seeing if he's gonna get birth. shattered comes up from Yeti right away. Triple people on the ground, Octillotron helping to swing it off with her mace to clean it all up, and Florida's gonna have to reset. That was a shattered duel, Yeti and Epio both using their shatters at the same time, but Yeti managed to get that to hit the ground just a millisecond earlier and managed to down five men from the Florida Harmony side. I'll say it again, I love Ryan on Ryan uh, mind games. Epio gonna finish off Artillotron, he was a little bit too far forward. Right now we have the tire gonna be finished off by the fantastic fire strike from Yeti. Vax does get soups, both of charges come into a face. Epio is Anna boosted, gonna be a lot higher if he can finish his damage. Gonna be pocketed very well by the healers, keeping Yeti alive. Chronic gonna be stalling his best econ. Vax coming around the side of Yeti to finish him off. Stalling for percent right now is Lord Cronid. Going down now, looks like 74% in favor of Boston for the first push. Now it's the Florida's turn. So we do have Epiel 9 with that shatter ready once again. Only with, uh, that took him only one fight to get it back. Very impressive. While Yeti, he did manage to get the last shatter to connect. He's only at 42%. Contending here in the middle of the map, a lot of shields going out. Both Ryan and Boss Face gonna find Shiny Espion in the back because he's just he's just firing from the side. Another fantastic flank coming up from Boss Face. Soups is gonna finish off Epiol. Boss Face just trying to find and connect. Purple Cronid's gonna try and push the two DPS from Florida back. And there's Boston taking it back now. Florida did get 32%, but they need to regroup and get one more good push, or it's gonna be Boston for this first one. The ult economy here for Dallas is looking pretty strong. Five out of six ults ready to be used on this next push. And the grab then gets grab gonna go ahead is going to be eaten. Soups does take the IP up with the eaten grab. Here comes out nerf this, looking for a kill. Boss base getting sky when he was out of his mech with that ult. Archilotron finishing off Daku in the back. They need to get somebody on point. Hi there comes Boss base falling from the sky. Getting finished up by a fire strike. Die, die, die. Getting Artillotron and pinned from Yeti. Here comes out the grab, keeping him off the point. Gonna be wiped up and cleaned up. And that's gonna be Boston taking his first control map. Very well deserved here from Boston. Very smart with their ult economy and usage. Managed to get map number one on the book for their side. Very impressive. Very well done. Very well done. I, it, it seems that Goats was working very well. I will give it to Boss Face. Fantastic flanking opportunities, doing a lot of damage from the side, taking out uh, Shiny Espion on that last push, but it wasn't enough. Archilotron and Kronid able to keep them alive. 
Let's see what Florida can do to come back and tie this one up, or it's going to be Boston going to be tying up the series for now. Uh, from Let's go ahead and check out Boston again. Are they going to be sticking with what they have? Because that's what it looks like. It worked last time. Why do they need to fix it? Anything? Any changes coming out from Florida? No real changes aside from the pharmacy that's going to be in place for Florida with Vax 503 on the fair. Uh, that Kuno supporting him, pocketing him with the Mercy right up here trying to do some damage because Farah is a decent, very decent counter, especially when you're boosting it with a Mercy to do damage to that Goat's Comp. Just keep shooting behind the shield, getting a lot of damage on Yeti, not able to finish him off. And Boston right now being dominant on the point. Farah going to be continued pocketing from Mercy. Sky trying to do some pressure on Tadaku, going to push him back. Epi and Epiol does take down Yeti, already a tire with a double kill. Crowning and Attila Tron go down in favor of Florida. And that's going to be Boston backing up, realizing they can't take this first one. Soup's very high charge, trying to run away, getting it finished off by Vax. Very well done by boss face, especially being able to get that tire super fast right even before the first match The first fight actually finished. So overall very impressive coming in from boss face Seems that they learned that a Farah and a junk rat with their explosive AoE damage Definitely a great counter to the goats comp that was happening. So now we're gonna see some changes coming out from Boston And Vax already gonna pick him off Well, they know now soups is gonna be on a McCree but they're going to stick with the triple heals. Moira is still going to have that uh, coalescence as an initiator, hopefully. Yeti coming through. See if they're going to decide to go down the front or the side. Deciding to go down the side. Epi all flanking a little bit. They feigning go to the side. Now they're going to be on the middle. Double charge in the face and a fantastic Ana grenade. Boss face going to get out Chilatron. It's already one down from Boston. Soup's going to get Daku. Great pick in the side. Soups in the fort trying to get another one. Vax going to take down Soups. Justice, Justice Cranes from above. Not going to get anyone out, but is he able to zone him? Sky getting Epi all. Yeti swinging his hammer as best he can. Trying to finish off Hydro. Shiny Espeon's orb going to get Gregory Chronic. Going to get Hydro. And Shiny Espeon going to get Boss Face in retaliation for that last map. And Boston taking it after 66% in flavor of Florida. That was a very interesting fight that came down to Lord being able to drop that beat at the perfect moment to keep his main tag Yeti alive. That would have been very, very difficult for them to keep this, to take over the point if that didn't work through. Now both Ryans right now have their ults. It's the only ult on the side of Boston now. Towards the end of the fight, Soups might have high noon or Chilsron should have be able to throw a rally in there. But look at the ults coming out from Florida. Again, I hope they don't throw too many at once. Grab is could be very well combo with just a swinging epi all or a boss face tire Another great grenade here goes fire in the hole looking for some kills is gonna be not gonna find anyone shielded from both Coalescence and a shatter gonna get shielded fight coming out air shatter does get sky on the ground is gonna, is gonna miss the charge to a boop sky to finish him off grab coming out from Florida high noon gets hydro and Daco Right now and they're gonna be pushing they're still fighting Yeti double kill with the fire strike. Lord Cronin falls to boss faces the mayhem. And that's going to be a team kill in favor of Boston. That was two ults invested on that fight from Florida. Uh, and that didn't quite work out. Overall, both shadows coming in from both main tags. Yeti and Epio did not connect or did not have any big value. So this should be an interesting fight coming in with only one ult on both sides. Curious if they can combo the grab with enough presence to go forward. If boss face can be in a proper position to get into, here comes another. Here comes the tire, fire in the hole, looking to come from the side. Hopefully, he's trying to open up something. Gonna get shielded. A fantastic Zarya bubble onto Yeti he keeps him alive. Both Ryan's diving into each other, and a boosted Ryan on the side of Florida, trying to come forward and do some damage. Justice Cranes from above, getting Yeti and Artilla trying to add soup triple kill in favor of Vax in the air. Mercy getting really low. Florida right now winning this fight and a fantastic defense run out from Boston Sky does finally fall. They are at 99%. Looks like Florida is going to take this one, but it's over. It had to go to overtime for it. So we still have Lord trying to get away here, but he is going to get picked by APL9. So that mm -hmm. was a great stagger coming in from the Florida side. They have a little bit more time to get more percentage on the point. They're sticking with the triple heals. I'm curious if they if they have the damage they're looking for. 
Maybe they're playing Artillotron being a little more damaged. Here comes a grab into the air. A lot of people in there are going to be coming with a Coalescence. Anna is going to keep him alive with a Shatter, Counter Shatter, getting three, four members down. On Boston's just on the floor. Epi, I'm going to finish off Sky right away. Soup's getting Gregory in the back. Shiny Espion going to get Hydro. Higher in the hole, coming against Soup's. Yeti and Epi all swinging their hammers best they can. Artillotron comes to the, the rescue of Yeti. They stun it and boop. Boss phase does get soups down, but that's going to be three kills more in favor of Boston. Switching it over onto 99%. Can anybody from Florida get here? Can anybody from Florida get here? Right now we have Lucio on the point. Justice Reigns from above from back. going to find Artillotron. Cronin's going to finish him off, though. It is just two members of Florida on the point, keeping it alive. Here comes the grab just to keep him alive. Yet Epiol coming forward to swing his hammer against Lord Cronin. Shiny Espeon after getting Gregory. Double kill from Espeon getting Epiol as well. Florida is keeping this alive just barely. Tracer's on the point. Moira coming, trying to come on the point to finish off, but gets finished off by Yeti. Espeon getting finished off Boss Face, and that's going to be Boston tying up the series. That was very well done here. Wait. That was map number two, if I'm not mistaken. That was map. That was map number two. Boston got the first one. So that's two, two, two control points in favor of Boston. First two maps of Lijong Tower. That is true. Very convincing win here coming in from Boston. Something that I kind of predicted given that the DPS, uh, I really enjoyed watching them on the game number one. Soups was incredible and Artillotron was able to flex on the junk thread, also on that map number two with Brigida. And essentially the two supportals coming in from Artillotron and Lord at the very last attempt to take over the point was what won them that round. I loved seeing both these teams are evenly matched and it makes for some great Overwatch. I would have liked to see, I like seeing a uh, map five and I'm gonna say we probably could go there because I'm looking forward to it. Um, but right now, the Boston did tie up the series. Not, uh, it was back and forth. It's, Florida did have 75% on the first one. They got 95% on the second one. But it was just seen Boston was able to get that last uh, team fight to push it over the edge both times. It seems like Shiny Espion and Yeti did not need to change their profile pictures, um, <laughs> which is unfortunate. I don't know what else either team could have done because the only thing that I'm, I'm, I was knocking them a little bit was still saying with triple heals and doing the Ryan Zari with a uh, McCree, but it, it worked. Uh, it seems like sustain is the way to win control maps. It, it, it is, it is, especially if you're running a composition like uh, three supports. It's not truly goats, but you are getting a lot of heals coming in. And what that allows you to do is for your main tank uh, to be able to create more space for everyone behind him. That's what Yeti did. Yeti had the speed boost from Lord. Artillotron provided that extra shield when he was pushing in alongside a stun. And then Moira just throwing an orb there just to heal him up just in case. And he was able to walk right in there, swing around and build that chart, the, the ultimate charge very, very fast. So overall, they play very well, but I would like to point one thing out. So far, I expect the Boston to take control map because of their game style, right? We, how many times have we looked at Florida's uh, ult economy and they just have five or six? And mm -hmm. that worked very well when it came to holding a point, being uh, defensive, uh, but on control map, a little bit more aggression would have gone, uh, would have taken them a very long way. And that's the style that Boston is showing tonight. Very good point. We saw it, I've mentioned, I mentioned it several times, even on the last map, it was, look, Florida has five or six ults and it, it seemed that they were either just waiting to use it or maybe they're, they're maybe they're calling out to specific people don't use your alt until this or wait till my call to use your alt which that could be the case and that would just cause their entire team to have all their alts and maybe Boston's maybe seeing the opportunity and calling it out differently but I'm, I'm happy to see right now it is tied one to one let's see what they do on map number three